Hello guys, this is Nihal again, back with another important lectures. Well, uh, this is important because uh, the final project we're gonna make has a major part of this topic. So today, I will introduce you about motor. So what motor is? Let's move forward. So uh, have you ever opened a remote control car and see what's inside that? Well, if you ever do so, you'll see something um, in this portion uh, which connected with the yellow and blue wire which uh, basically runs the whole car and you can see it's one up here and the other one is there. So actually this is the motor. So what motor is? It's basically convert electric energy into mechanical energy. That means motor got power from the battery or whatever power source and then it turns that electrical energy to the mechanical energy and thus the car moves. So where can be motor found? Uh, well, we can also found our motor in the fan of our room or even a generator which produce electricity. Everything has motor inside them. So what we actually need to operate a motor or to run a motor through our Arduino. So at, remember at our first course, uh, we have just connected the LED with two pins of the Arduino and that LED blinks. But the thing is, for the motor, it's not gonna connect it at the same way we connected the LED because it's need more power. So that's why if we connect the two pins of the motor with the Arduino, it won't run. So what we need, we actually need something that will control the motor and run the motor so that thing comes it's known as motor driver so at our next course we will let you know and show you how to control a motor with the help of motor driver so this is how a motor driver looks like so you have to connect the motor pins uh, on the connections and you have to upload some codes and give some logics and the motor will run now let's um, come to the point uh, what are the kinds of motor can be so motor can be different kinds uh, like this is one it's known as stepper motor so where it's used so it's basically used in the industrial area or where it's need more perfection and accuracy and it, this stepper motor power has a lot of capacity and power rather than the regular motor which spins all through the time whenever electricity it goes and there's also another one is known as servo motor I will not gonna describe about this here because we have a separate course on the servo motor itself So that's all for motor today. Uh, we'll, we'll let's hope for the best. Uh